substances which are not electrolyte are phospholipids, phospholipids, cholesterol, glucose, bile salts, creatinine, remember creatinine, urea, blood urea, nitrogen and creatinine um, and so on. So, smaller other uric acid, urea, so urea, uric acid and, and these things. But by far these are the majority of the things. So if I came to you and I said okay, so what is in the blood vessels? You would say it has 3 liter of uh, fluids, about 2 liters of packed cell volume that is red blood cell, 99 percent of that is red blood cell. Then we have other white blood cells and platelets and so on, but 99 percent red blood cells. Then you would say that in here you are going to talk about things in two, in two separate categories, ionic elements and non-ionic. So in the case of ionic you will say there are proteins and albumin is the majority, greater concentration 80 percent is albumin, negatively charged cause the donor effect, pull the positives to them and push the negatives out. Then you would say over here you have more sodium, you have more chloride, you have less potassium, you have more bicarbonate. More sodium, more chloride, less potassium, more bicarbonate, do not forget that. This is as compared to the cell. So, so if they say okay, more sodium compared to what? Compared to the cell. So we are comparing these two things. Then non-electrolytes, non-charged elements, the majority, the majority I would say about 60 percent of non-charged elements are phospholipids and then about another 20, 25 percent is the cholesterol. So these are the fatty acids and cholesterols which are making about 70, 80 percent of the remaining uh, substances in here. Then glucose is a major amount, you know that about 80 to 100 milligram per deciliter. Then we have bile salts, creatinines, urea, uric acids and, and stuff like that. So these are the compositions here. So another important takeaway, what caused the sodium to be outside more? Sodium potassium ATPase pump. That pump is responsible to keep the sodium out. Do not forget this, this is the very important concept for you. It is going to be very important for understanding how the edema occurs. This is very important to understand how the, the intracellular or non-pitting edema occurs. This is very important to understand how the muscular functions and the neurological functions and those things they work. So sodium, very important um, factor to understand more on the outside. Potassium, very important more on the inside. Bicarbonate, very important for acid base balances. It is a buffering system more on the outside. Chloride is a buddy of the sodium. So wherever sodium is, the chloride is there. So more on the outside, less on the inside. Water, of course, would follow. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible, share it with your friends as well.